Welcome to Marseille and to Gastaport, Hammerson's first major shopping centre in France. The scheme will open tomorrow and today there will be a friends and family visit with 30,000 people so the retailers can get a dry run. Before we go in and have a look at the scheme and speak to the team, here are a few facts and figures about Le Terrasse de Port and Marseille. Why Marseille? Well, Marseille is a great city, the second city in France. Uh, growing population, growing purchasing power, uh, being totally renovated uh, thanks to a 7 billion investment, private and public. And a particularity which is there was no shopping center development over the last uh, 15 years. So there was an under density. So that's the ideal place to be as a developer. Can you tell me how the opportunity came about in Marseille? In 2009, a Dutch developer who owned this project could not fund the project. So we approached him, we are several developers who approached him in order to put our hands on this uh, project and eventually we won the race and we are very happy. And is this a new breed of shopping centres for Hammerson in France? Yes, hopefully it's the first of a long series. Uh, if we can replicate that uh, great scheme in other areas of France, hopefully it will generate the same uh, appeal for other cities uh, than the bullring generated in the UK. And what could shoppers expect for the launch of Terrastaport over the weekend? They will be queuing tomorrow, I'm sure, to discover those uh, 30 new brands coming to Marseille. Three years ago, we took a survey and there was already a 90% uh, awareness about this project. So I'm sure now it's up to 100%. We have already 32,000 uh, Facebook fans uh, prior to the opening. A lot of buzz on Twitter, on, on the press and everything. And I'm sure that will turn the face of shopping centers in France. It will be the first for time. Great showroom for us, and we are ready to replicate. So this is a fantastic location. Can you tell me a bit about the design inspiration for the scheme? We tried to make the most of this uh, terrace space uh, using the seaside location. Uh, and the design of the centre itself is inspired by the historic maritime routes starting from Marseille to Africa, Asia and the Mediterranean. So what have the challenges been with the construction? The main one was building a six level of car park just next to the sea and uh, also uh, with a part of Marseille uh, still operating underneath uh, our feet. So for instance we had to build a temporary port station for pedestrians and also a temporary car park. Despite this we've managed to do it in a 38 month period of time uh, with 2,000 workers and we had uh, with our contractors a special contract uh, obliging them to have 5% of the hours uh, dedicated to unemployed people. And can you tell us a bit about the sustainability of the scheme? We'll be able to achieve uh, a BRAM Excellent rating which is one of the uh, first uh, shopping centres in France to uh, achieve this rating. Edouard, can you tell me who the shoppers at Terrastapur will be? In terms of target, it's pretty wide. So you get the families, you get the workers, because we are facing a working area, pretty new. We have also local inhabitants. There is a brand new area also. And secondly, uh, we have 1.5 uh, million tourists arriving by ships every year. And the first step they will do is going to be at Terrasse du Port, which is very unique for France. And what have you done to raise the profile of the scheme in the catchment? To raise the profile uh, in three uh, steps. First, we had to be part of the city, to be involved in all events and be partner for anything that can happen in the city. To give you an example, we did last year 
uh, a lot of partnerships with Marseille-Provence 2013 because Marseille was capital of culture. We raised a lot of ambassadors, keep contact with them, and we elected one person being ambassador, which is Camille Lacour, the famous swimmer, a winner at Olympics. He was uh, the face of Les Terras du Port during those, uh, those past months. In terms of communication, we, we've been very strong. Physically, you could not miss uh, in those past months Les Terras du Port all around the city and in the region. And then, in terms of digital, we've been very strong in the social uh, network by having a lot of uh, communities talking about Les Terras du Port. And it was also a very good point for us to start talking about our PLUS program for the loyalty program we, uh, we have now with uh, uh, the UK team and uh, which is now part of Les Terras du Port. So this is our first centre to have a new multi-channel approach. Can you tell me about it? Essentially what it is, is a class leading piece of digital infrastructure that includes a app, mobile application across iOS and Android, a desktop website with responsive mobile uh, and a class leading CMS and CRM solution around that as well. Sophie, why is this important for retailers and customers? So from a shopper point of view, they have in their pocket a huge amount of information on their phone that they can come to the shopping centre with. The app particularly is very simple, there are three main areas. So there's the offers, there are generic offers that retailers are running, we'll give them information about that. Then if they sign into the app, we'll be able to give them exclusive offers. They'll also have mapping, so they can literally be anywhere in the centre, put in the store that they want to go to, and the maps will take them there using the geolocalised. So tell us about iBeacons, what are they and what do they do? These are low energy Bluetooth devices, so what it will be able to do is actually locate you in the mall to within one metre of your position, which means we can send you really, really localised messages based on the stores that you're passing by, the events that you're looking at uh, and the content you're surfing on. So why is the centre so great for retailers? In terms of letting, we are 98% let at opening. Thanks to a great teamwork during all those years, uh, the, the location of the scheme in front of the seaside make it very attractive for all the retailers. And Ali, can you tell me a bit about the shop fit? Yes, yeah, so we decided to work with Rolls, who is from London. Uh, he's a designer, so he helped all the retailers to get the best concept in the best shopping centre. And which are your favourite stores here? My favorite store is the Super Dry store that is located on the second floor with a great, uh, great fit out, I think. The best store from my point of view is the Printemps department store uh, because they didn't open any Printemps since 1982 and they decided to be there on 7,000 square meter GLA on two floors and the architecture is really beautiful inside. And can you tell us about the restaurants? The restaurant, so it's quite unique because we decided to have a grand hall, as we call it. Um, it's like a food hall, like a market, like Howard's get in London. So we are around, we are having around 1,500 square meter GLA with a lot of small kiosks, very local people. That's it from Les Terras de Port. We hope you've enjoyed it and are looking forward to coming out in September. A huge thank you to the team. It's a fabulous scheme. Merci, au revoir.